Hello Pre-Calculus students and welcome to the wonderful world of factorial identities. And so I got the uh, first factorial identity here and it's really just the only one that we, that we use. All the other ones are sort of variations on this one. And it says that for integers n greater than or equal to 1, n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 quantity factorial. And to understand why this is, it's probably best just to illustrate with an example. So let's say that you pick a number greater than or equal to 1. Let's say you pick uh, n equals 8. Okay. So 8 factorial by the very definition of factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay. So that's one way to look at it is as 8 factorial. The expanded form is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But another way that we can look at this is by regrouping it this way. So now you have 8 times, and this group here that I've just drawn a box around, is really 7 factorial. And that's what this theorem is really saying, this identity is really saying, is that if you have a number factorial, it's really just that number and the number less than that factorial. In other words, 8 factorial is really 8 times 7 factorial. 10 factorial is really 10 times 9 factorial. And we can also take this further. So I have n, n minus 1 factorial. But n minus 1 factorial can also be described as n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. And that's like saying if I took this example here with 8, and I regroup and I grouped it one more time using the red ink here. Okay. So that would tell me that it's eight times seven, and the rest of it is six factorial. So we can we can continue to subtract one from the number that's being factorialed, and continue the pattern on and on until we reach one. And that's the that's one of the very basic factorial identity. Now this here is a, the second factorial identity, but it's very closely related and it's almost the same one as the first factorial identity and it's saying that n plus 1 factorial is really n plus 1 times n factorial. In other words, subtracting 1 from this original term here gives me the original term and 1 less than that factorial. So, in other words, we can look at it another way. If I chose n to be uh, 8, what I'm really saying is that 9 factorial is really 9 times 8 factorial. Uh, n plus 1 is 9, n is 8, and that fits the, the description. Because 9 factorial is really 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And so it's very similar to this one. It's just going one iteration higher. Instead of starting at n, I'm going to start at n, factor, n plus 1. So in my next term down, when I subtract 1, instead of having uh, n minus 1, I have n here. Okay. And so this is sort of the basic idea um, for all the factorial identities. I'm going to uh, refer you to the next video, which discusses how to do proofs with combinations using these basic identities.